My name's John, John at Bag Riders, and today I'm here to talk to you about what is a water trap and why do you need one? Well, as the name implies, a water trap is a device that intends to trap water as it travels through your air system. Why do you need one? Well, like I mentioned, water can pr be produced from an air compressor that's producing warm air. As that warm air cools down, it produces condensation, which is water. So water traps collect that moisture out of the air before it reaches components in your air system like your manifold. If moisture gets in your manifold, that can cause issues such as valves freezing in cold climates or damaging electronic components like pressure sensors. In addition to water, water traps also filter out debris like Teflon tape residue that might find its way into your air tank. Just like water, if that Teflon tape were to find its way into your manifold, it can cause the valves to get stuck or otherwise not function properly. Water traps come in all different shapes, sizes, colors, and so forth. Uh, the big difference between the water traps and the decision that you need to make when choosing the right one for your vehicle is the draining mechanism for the water trap and also, generally speaking, just the size of the water trap. So this water trap that I'm holding in front of you is actually the water trap that I have in my WRX behind me. The drain mechanism for this is a drain cock, so you twist it to open and that releases the water out. It's very small and it's a chrome finish, which I chose to match my aesthetic and just the sizing of it works well with my setup as it's pretty tight in there. I don't have uh, much room for a bigger water trap. Um, if you do have room for a larger water trap and you run your compressors very regularly, you might want to consider a slightly larger water trap like this SMC one. Um, this is not an auto draining trap, so you'd have to manually drain it, but it has a larger bowl on the bottom, which means it can store more water inside of it. Therefore, you don't have to drain it quite as often. We do have an even larger SMC trap, which does have an auto draining feature on it and a very large bowl. So this one is basically maintenance free. However, it does require a little bit more space for you to fit it inside your vehicle. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to mention is that you'll notice that these water traps come in a variety of threaded NPT sizes, that being this port right here. Um, the size of that port, it matters very much for the fitting that you use to connect it to the rest of your system. However, it won't affect the performance of your air ride system at all as far as the filling speed or the dumping speed or anything like that. They all flow enough air to ensure the air ride system will operate smooth and effectively all year round. And the where do you install it in your vehicle is pretty vehicle dependent uh, as far as where your air ride management lives in your vehicle um, and where you have locations to mount the water trap itself. So I'm going to describe where specifically in your air ride system the water trap needs to be and other important aspects about the water trap itself. All water traps have on top of them arrows indicating the flow of air. So you want to have the inlet side being the air tank side of the system and the outlet side being the air manifold side. As they're threaded with NPT fittings, generally speaking, you will connect a fitting to the water trap in order to mate it to either a PTC connection or an NPT connection, depending on what is best suited for your air management setup. Uh, as far as the water trap itself, you want to make sure that the water trap is vertical like this, uh, not sideways like this, and not upside down. Those just won't work. You want to make sure the water trap is up and down so that it can collect water in the bowl. Unless you have a water, an auto draining water trap, you want to make sure that you can access the draining mechanism on the water trap. If you have an auto draining trap, you can just connect an air hose and route it somewhere, so that's not a problem. But in the case of this water trap or like this water trap, you got to be able to get to the bottom side of it so that you can drain it when need be. That's what a water trap is and why you need one for your air ride system. So now you know that, you can go check out bagriders.com where we have a wide selection of water traps in all different shapes, sizes, colors, you name it, we got it and we're happy to help you.